Okay, here's a gel medium transfer. So after you have a board prepped and whited out, um, hopefully with a little bit more control than this one is, um, you want a board gessoed, prepped, ready to go. You want to have a printout of the photo that you're going to use. Make sure that it has high dynamic lighting. That means really, really light parts and really, really dark shadows and the grays in between. It's important to have all of those things in your photo. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to use acrylic gel medium. And we're going to put that on the board. This stuff is like um, the see-through part of paint. It's um, the glue, essentially, for, of the paint without any of the color in it. But you can do some cool stuff with it. So we're going to put this down on the page, completely transparent. And then we're going to put your print off of your photo face down in that plastic, in that glue, and we're going to let it dry there. And after it dries, then we'll peel the paper back from this backside, and it'll um, have transferred the image down onto the page. Um, so long as you were using like an inkjet printer. So literally, the plastic will literally trap the um, the coloration from the printer. So we're going to do this in black and white. You always want to make sure that your brush is at least damp when you're doing anything with the paintbrush. Okay. Um, with these bottles, you don't really want to squeeze them. That's not going to do a lot of good. You're going to want to tap it like an old um, ketchup bottle. And we want quite a bit of the plastic on there. That might be a little much. Um, but we want it to cover the entire thing. And a little bit extra is OK. This is maybe a little bit too much extra. probably got twice as much as I actually needed there. Uh, if that happens in the class, just um, share with the person next to you, basically. Make sure that the brush stays wet. You can't let it dry this way, otherwise it'll completely ruin it. Pass it off to the next person. That's about right there. Kind of see that glossy sheen. Okay, and this is going to go face down. You want to lay it nice and flat. And then you're going to want to apply pressure, but you're going to want to start from the middle and work your way out to the edges because you don't want any ripples in it. This is basically a tattoo. It's like a lick and stick tattoo, essentially. Wonderful. Now I just got to let it dry. It's okay if there's just a little bit of ripples in it. We just don't want bubbles. A little bit of ripples isn't a problem, but you don't want bubbles. Now we just got to let it dry, so by the next class session it should be ready for the next step.